Hi, Tarsilla. I don't know if that's the way you say your name. Um, I thought I would do my reading and let you see me actually pull the cards because what I realized in finding missing things is that there's a lot of hints in the cards and I want you to be able to see them because you might see something that I don't. So I, I focused on the cards and not on myself so that you can see what I'm pulling. And what I've asked is, where is your cat? And I just run my hands over my cards until I feel one that feels very energetic. Um, and that is, this one is the Queen of Cups. I hope it's focusing. It looks like it's a little blurry there. I'm using the Dark Mansion. And I'll send you a picture of these cards so you can really look at them yourself, too. This Queen of Cups is she's very focused on something. And being that it's a queen that popped up, it makes me wonder if somebody else actually might have your cat right now. Um, that somebody might have even liked it and decided that it, maybe they wanted it. A woman. Uh, that's that's my first inclination, but of course the cards as we bring them together might say something else. So let's look and see. I know you wanted to know how far he was from home. So let me ask, is he, um, let's see, how would I word that? Um, well, let's just ask how far he is from home. I don't know if Tarot can give me a real good answer with that, but um, let's see if the cards that come out denote something that seems close to home or far from home. You know, some of them have like a house sort of in the back of them and some have something real close. So let's see if it can give us a hint that way. Actually, feel like this card again. Okay, so this one is um, not exactly really close to home. This is the Three of Wands, and the reason I'm saying that is that Buggy's in the background, and she's kind of flagging it towards her house, but it's not like right at her house. So I don't think your your cat is really really close to home. And being that there's a three in there, that might be a uh, a sign for you. I don't know if you're in the city, but three blocks over, three miles, three, you know, I would focus on that three. And, um, but I don't think he's right next to your house or anything. I think he is a little bit of a distance away because that car is a distance from her and she's trying to flag it over to where she is. So what I'm going to ask now is like, how can you best find your cat? How, how can you go about locating him? I think that's really the most important thing for you. So let's see what the cards, how can she locate her cat? Let's see what the cards have to say about that. Okay, let's see. How can she locate her cat? Oh, it's this card right here. Okay, so this is the Eight of Pentacles, which tells me there's going to be some real work that's going to have to go into finding your cat. I'm going to look at the symbology in this too, because he's spinning a wheel. So that tells me maybe you're going to have to move, meaning not move house or anything, but move your location from where you are. I also see some like what looks like planning documents here. Um, we might want to take those as different flyers, different um, advertisements that you could put out to find your cat. It definitely looks like you're going to have to work at this because it's not, I don't think it's going to come to you, I guess is what I'm saying with this card. I think you're going to have to work to find him and put up a lot of flyers. And I would take this three as your... Um, Within three miles, I would say, of your home is where I would focus. But not it's not real, real super close to your house either. Okay, I'll see if there's anything else that can help you find your cat. I'm just going to ask a real general question like that because although this is telling me you'll have to work at it, it's not telling me exactly where, but I would say within three miles of your house, maybe three blocks over for sure. I like the three. I think there's a, some symbol in that for you. So anything else that can help her find her cat. 
anything else that can help her find her cat. Let's go here. Okay, this is your card. A nine of wands. And I think that's telling you that the person who has your cat's not going to want to give it up. And I think it's inside a building. So I think somebody actually took it into their house and kind of is guard, wanting it and guarding it. Maybe they don't think you take good care of it or something. I don't know. You know, people get all kinds of things in their minds. That's what I see, that the person who has it, I think it's in someone's house, and I think they don't want to give it away, give it up to you. So um, probably going to that that specific person. Do you have any houses that look like that in your neighborhood? I almost feel like that's an apartment building or something for some reason. Um, but whatever it is, that's where I think your cat is. So I would look at that symbology really, really well. There's a nine too. So maybe there's something with nine with the address. Um, that's just me thinking logically. It, it's not tarot or spirit or what have you. Um, but I do think this cat is within three miles. I think you're going to have to work hard for it because the person doesn't want to give it away. And I think the person really is standing their ground and saying, this cat's mine now and, and does is not even going to admit that they have a cat that might look like yours. And I think it's a woman because we had this king, queen of cups here. And she seems like a younger woman, but um, I, I don't think she's too, too old. Um, but then again, do any of them look old? <laughs> she's a queen, so she could be an older woman. I didn't get a page or anything here. Um, I think she's very focused on your cat and likes it a lot. I don't think your cat's in any sort of danger, but I don't know that this woman wants to give it up either. So it's going to be really hard to find. And if there's an apartment building, I would go door to door and actually like knock on their doors and hand out flyers because that's what I think this thing is, this one is telling you to do. I would definitely go to door to door and knock out knock on doors and hand them flyers. That's actually how I found my cat when he was gone. He was gone for 40 days. And I went to people's houses and knocked on their doors and handed out flyers. And after 40 days, a guy came knocking on our neighbor's door saying he thought their, our, their cat, he thought it was theirs, uh, was locked in an air conditioning unit he had in his backyard. And it turned out it was my cat and he had gotten stuck down in some like blower motor piece of it. And he was, you know, starving to death um, and couldn't get out. And who knows how long he'd been in there. He was skin and bones. So, but if I hadn't handed that guy a flyer, he would not have known that that cat belonged to somebody and wouldn't have gone looking for the owner. So anyway, that's what I suggest. Hand out flyers within three miles of your house. And especially if you have an apartment building, the person who has your cat doesn't want to give them up. And uh, you may have to go around to neighbors or something to get them. That's what I think you're going to have to do. I don't think that person's just going to hand your cat over. All right. I hope that helps. Good luck. At least, you know, it looks positive. It doesn't look like he's hurt or anything. So that's good. All right. Take care. Bye.